What is going on, YouTube? We're back at it again. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep the games rolling as always. You already know how we do. The games got to keep rolling. We are here our week number 10. And I can't wait to see how this one goes down. Don't go anywhere. We have ourselves a triple header today on a Thursday. A Thursday? A Thursday for sure. We got two games here on YouTube. Starting out with Tacoma at Tampa Bay Battle of the T's up in here. We will be in West Florida for this ball game is going to be a little bit rainy. So make sure you get your ponchos and all your good stuff. Don't let the nachos get wet up in all this rain, but it should be a fun ride here. Uh, Tacoma and Tampa Bay, they're both trying to stay on pace in regards to their respective conferences. Tampa Bay, they're kind of in the bottom. Uh, trying to get back up so a win here against their foes on the other side of the conferences will have to try to make do one of these teams has to get the victory and it's going to be a big one because Anchorage they're currently sitting in the number three seed as per the standings I believe I'll just double check because I remember they did lose uh, yes so they are currently behind Anchorage by one game and they're looking to try to get this one going Tacoma has yet to win a game at home. That is actually a pretty crazy stat. Um, let's we'll see if there's any other crazy ones. Um, okay, so St. Louis and uh, New York are the only two teams that have not won a game on the road. But there's only one team that is yet to win at home, and that's Tacoma. But they won't be on the road. They will be on the road for this game. Sorry about that. As we'll go ahead and set this one up. Let's hit that play game button. Let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Best of luck to both of these teams. Looks like Tacoma starting off with the football as we'll go ahead and flip over. I'll let it do its thing. I'll hop in when I see some craziness. Best of luck to both of these teams here. Starting out early with the beautiful drive here from Tampa, just working it with Joe Beasley, smoking Joe Beasley. That's the nickname I'm gonna give that big homie right there, number 11. Working them all the way down the field, Tampa Bay with no answers quite yet, and they'll keep it on the ground with a lot of room there for Lamar Davis to get close to the 10 yard line. Gonna make a second and three coming up here. Second and three coming up. 
And off pushing forward. Sheds off one man and gets inside. The five is Davis. No signs of Davin Brewer at the current moment. But Lamar Davis is putting in that work. Looking like that season eight starter that we've seen put lighting up the defenses. He's in his third year. He's trying to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? As it looks like he's back there again. Almost got a man off sides, not to be. And they will keep it on the ground. And there goes Davis falling forward. Dolphin diving in the rain. And Tacoma will score the first touchdown of the week real quick. Thanks to that beautiful drive led by Sean Bridges and the big homie Joe Beasley. Great job all the way around on this one. As Firestarter Prodigy is going to try to get his first points of the week via the field goal, or a.k.a. the extra point. The kick is up. The kick is good. And we shall see Tampa Bay come onto the field for the first time. They're trying to move up to four and six on the season. And that will keep them up in the movements here. Don't want to go uh, four and seven. Sorry, three and seven going into week number 11. We'll see how they do here. Thank you. 
Tampa Bay inching closer here, getting to the 24 yard line, making a second and one, trying to tie this ball game up. Both these teams know there's only a few games left in the season, so you better put your best foot forward and we're gonna see a fake of the handoff. He's gonna roll out, looks right side and caught. And there goes number 86, Usulu Musulu Rusu rolling to the 15. Going with the rollout tight end screen a little bit by the looks of it. The interesting play call. And it works out in their favor. First and 10 coming. And off pushing forward, finding a hole. There goes off pushing to the nine yard line. His solid run game continues here today. A rainy day. Might as well utilize the run game. This is the perfect time. So perfect time to let Ulf Jacobson rumble, pick up those easy yards and they'll have him in the backfield again. Nine yards away from a touchdown. Will they get it on this play? Who knows? As James West going to quick pitch it right side and going to be picked off. It's going to be returned to spin move by number 26. There goes Patrick McGowan closing this drive and I'll keep on the mic here. Just to finish out what's happened, we're going to go with the wild eruption of Juke move and tackle down by number 24, Leon Kennedy. But what a heads up play there by McGowan off of the tip. The pass just a little too late. If it was a bullet pass as soon as he got off of his off of his stance, I think it would have been more of a score. But that linebacker was able to jump on it, tip it to his teammate. And here comes Tacoma trying to take advantage. Here comes Bridges right side and caught. There goes Isaiah Bala getting to the 30 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. First and 10 here. Tacoma going to stretch this out left side, going to push forward and slung back. Picking up maybe a yard and that's it. Middle pushing forward gets past the 35 to the 38 yard line. It's third and two coming. Looking and gonna not make it fourth and three coming up here nice tackle there by leon kennedy 
And it looks like the defense of Tampa Bay is going to have their offenses back. And they'll get that football right back. We'll see if they can move the ball down the field again. And I'll go ahead and click off since nothing happened from the INT. And we'll see this return here. Pushing past the 30 yard line is Jordan Vinny. And it's going to be first and 10 at the 33 yard line. Tampa Bay out to try it again here in the first half.
And a big, big play there to Isaiah Fowler over the top of the defense, split into cover two. And here comes Tacoma trying to punch it in one more time before the end of the first half. 40 seconds, all three timeouts. Couldn't ask for a better situation here. Sean Bridges looking for a touchdown, middle of the field, and give it right back to the player that got him all the way down there. Isaiah Fowler cooking, and Tacoma's going to score again. Pick is up, pick is golden. And Tampa Bay already down two scores. Tacoma trying to make the playoffs. They ain't playing around. Anchorage and Dallas are not a fan of this score at the current moment, I'm sure. But the game is still alive, and Tampa Bay has a lot of talent here. They just got to put it all together. They've been punched in the mouth a good amount of times. They want to change that. Let's see how it works going forward. That pass right there got them inside the 45. They only have 20 seconds, so with another solid play right up the middle or down the sidelines, that could have them in a really good spot. Their offense is still open here. If they could get maybe another 15 yards, that's field goal range. They're going to look short and going to get deflected, and that was dangerous. Shotgun says 17 seconds. Here comes a pass. James West. Protection breaking down and it's going to get sacked again. And it's a familiar foe. It's King Maximus bringing them down. And that's going to make it third and 17 here. Only 13 seconds. So if they can still get about 20 yards or so on this game, they'll be right back in field goal range. Maybe even more than that will make it easier for them. But a great play there from a great defensive player. King Maximus, top three overall in regards to talent. When it comes from the defensive end spot, they're going to pass this one, and he's going to be well short of the mark. That's going to make fourth down. And I don't think a field goal will be doable, but I'm sure they'll try it. Well, it's from the 44. They might just try to go for the onside. I mean, at the onside, the uh, Hail Mary, see if they could try to get a quick bucket. And they do have the Hail Mary offense here. They're going to send three. It doesn't get home. Great protection. Launching it to the end zone. 
off of the helmet and almost brought in. So now Tacoma will have a chance here at a Hail Mary. So couldn't quite get his hands onto the football. And here it comes first and 10 coming. Gonna pass it here. They're just gonna decide to throw a short. They won this happen. They're gonna give one of their big playmakers, Joe Beasley, the bucket. And that'll be the end of quarter number two. We'll go ahead and let this thing ride. I'll be right back.
Tampa Bay trying to come through with the clutchness. They'll need to find a way to score on this drive. Down to the 33 yard line, looking short again for off. It's going to shed off two men and breaking tackles all game long. Four straight broken tackles <laughs> within the last two plays here from off. He's going to get him inside the 25. Straight up ran him over and ran him over like John Carter. He's filling that one and they're going to keep it moving here, trying to get a playoff before the two minute warning. And it looks like they're going to take that break. See if they can get their plays right. They need the touchdown in the two point conversion to make this happen. First and 10 coming up. Pass it here and almost actually not take that back. That wasn't almost picked up. It was right between a couple of defenders there. Going to be second and 10 coming up. Clock stop at a minute 57. They had an opportunity to score earlier, but they threw an interception, so they need to get it right here. Make sure that red zone offense is looking nice. Middle of the field and it complete again there by West. Now it's third and 10 and only five seconds off of the clock. You'd have to think it's four down territory here. Wouldn't be worth it to go for it. I'll go for the field goal. They need a touchdown and a two pointer. So making it this close, they got to cash out. They got to get past the 11 and they're going to fake the handoff. They're going to send a blitz. It doesn't get home and they left the man open. There goes Grant inside the five down to the four. And that's exactly what they was looking for right there. Blake Grant with a big catch his second for 26 yards. Definitely need to find a way to get him some more targets here in this offense. But that was a big catch there four yards away. No huddle off his back there. They have all three timeouts so the playbooks open. They're going to fake the handoff and he gets a block and it's going to be a drop there by Kai Coco could have been the touchdown to Help them get close to where they need to be. There's going to be second and goal coming up. Unfortunate there, but they got the jumbo set here. That's not off back there. There's going to be a handoff up the middle. Going to cut it around and gets close. He's three yards closer. Now it's third and goal. Letting the clock rumble a little bit. Don't need to call the timeout. But you're going to let the clock drain a little bit. Tacoma looking for a red zone stand here. And here comes Honey. Sorry, I'm about to say Huntington Beach. Here comes Tampa Bay spreading the offense a little bit. They're going to pass out of it. Looking right side and overthrows. Big homie. Travis Vaughn, who was wide open. And now it's fourth and goal. Calamity here. Worst comes to worse. Worst comes to worse. If Tampa Bay doesn't get it. They could try to flip a safety their way, but they'll need to get the touchdown here. They're already a yard away. Might as well get it here. Why not give it to your back? They're going to go pass and it's going to be caught. And there it goes. Ah, Coco making it happen. Two points away. They need the two point conversion here. Biggest play of the game coming up. They could give it straight to off. See what he could do. But Tacoma's loading up that line with bodies. And they're going to try to hand off, pushing forward, rolling, and he's short. They said his knee hit the ground before the ball passed, and that is going to be no good. As Tampa Bay's going to fall two points shy of the mark. And now they got to go for the onside, I believe. Honestly, they could kick it as deep as they can. That way they can avoid giving up three on the other end. But definitely a big, big, big setup here. What will Tampa Bay do? They need the victory, as does Tacoma. Both teams fighting hard, fighting strong. But they need to get a cook. They're going to go for the side. I don't blame them. 
Try to get that ball back. It's going to be kneeled and picked up by Joe Bees, who's going to cut towards the 40. One more first down will essentially seal it. Great recovery there from Joe Beasley. Going to make it first and 10 coming up. Going to send Evan Hunt in motion, stretching the left side. Needs some blockers. Don't need that many. He's going to pick up eight. And that's a big first play there from the big homie Davin Brewer, who hasn't had the greatest of games. But that's definitely going to help him out. Second and two coming. Tacoma needs the first. Tampa Bay needs to stop. And as we said, one first down will essentially wrap this one up. As Tacoma's looking to go for the wild eruption to close this game out, they're going to send... Lamar Davis in motion, looking for the option, and is not going to be there as Tacoma's going to get stopped. And Tampa Bay needs one more play like that to give themselves another chance. Granted, Tacoma is semi sorted in field goal range here. Got him back there looking for a hole. Spins off of a man and gets exactly what they needed. Tacoma escapes and is going to pick up the W here in week 10. A beautiful game here. Tampa Bay, they tried to fight back. But once again, just a little too short for comfort there. It was a great effort all the way around. But Tacoma did just enough to get the W. As we'll go ahead and roll into the victory formation here. Tacoma's going to come out with the W. Sean Bridges with that kneel down. And we're going to go ahead and talk about what's coming down the pike. We got ourselves a triple header today on Thursday. And we'll start with Charlotte at Anchorage. That'll be the next setup there. So make sure you watch out for that. Let me go ahead and see if I can do one thing while the rest of the seconds are coming off the clock. Thank you. There you go. It's supposed to be straighter than that. The Charlotte and Anchorage, that's going to be the next game here on YouTube. And I think I did something crazy. Hold on. I did something crazy. There you go. That's what I meant to do. Go to Charlotte at Anchorage. And then we will close out the night with Tacoma. Sorry, with Toronto taking on Pittsburgh. And that should be a fun ride as well. Don't go anywhere. Should be a fun set of games here. As we're going to go ahead and talk about the statistics here, I'll go ahead and flip it back so you can see what's happening. But final score will be 21 to 19. Uh, looks like it was a fairly even game all the way through. Rushing wise, they both was able to do something. Passing wise, they'll be able to. It was able to do something. Tacoma, I mean, sorry, Tampa Bay won the first downs and the uh, possession time, so they was able to move the football. Just not enough juice to get them over the hump. You know what I'm saying? Looking at the setup here, 24 for 39 there for James West, two TDs, one interception, 259 passing yards. Sean Bridges on the other side, 19 for 25, 223, one TD, no interceptions. Big passes on both sides. Looks like a 72 yarder that I probably missed there by West. We'll see who actually caught it. But Ulf Jacobson had himself a solid game, almost averaging five yards a carry, 18 for 89 and one TD. A lot of rushing touchdowns in this game. Davin Brewer got himself a touchdown, 11 for 32. And Lamar Davis, 7 for 92. There for a touchdown. He must add himself a long carry. But we'll see in a little bit. Jason Copeland, 4 for 17. Sean Bridges just had that kneel down. And it looks like Lamar Davis had a 55-yard TD in regards to the ground game. So great job from him. Uh, receiving side, we'll start with Tampa Bay. Ulf Jacobson, 8 for 53. Travis Vaughn, 5 for 46. Kaya Coco, 5 for 106 and 2 TDs. Great job from him. Riker Bryson, 3 for 19. Blake Grant, 2 for 26. Usulu Musulu Rusu, 1 for 9. Looking at the drops, looks like Coco and Vaughn each had one apiece. And looks like Coco had that 72 yard bomb as expected. Great job from him. On the other side, Isaiah Fowler, 5 catches for 109 yards and a TD. Joe Beasley, 9 for 79, doing his thing as always. 
Devin Brewer, four for 25. Jax Jackson Jr., one for 10. And looking at the longest reception here, it will be 64 yards there by Isaiah Fowler. Big, big game there. Looking at the tackles here, Tywire England leading the way with 17. Another big tackle there from the vet. Uh, Najee Wyatt with five. Kaiser Washington with five. King Maximus with five. Carlton Rhodes with five. Goofy Gerber with four. Pat Jacob Copeland with four. Patrick McGowan with three. Alpha Wolf with three. John Carter with two. Uh, Daniel Stover gets two. Rocco gets one. And that's all the users there. Rhodes and England each have a tackle for loss. King Maximus with another big sack day with two. Patrick McGowan one for nine on the interception there we've seen earlier in the game. Uh, pass deflection wise, Carter and Copeland each had one apiece. No fumbles or anything like that. No defensive touchdowns. And on the other side, the leading tackler will be middle linebacker Javon Highland doing his thing with nine. Chris Davis with seven, Jordan Benny with six, Maddie Tillman with six, Shallow Marino with four, Leon Kennedy with four, Connor Wellington, the wide receiver, gets three, Loki Gunderson gets three, Brock Hoskins gets three, Tank Jones gets three, Bad Omens with two, Jason Copeland gets one, Hendricks Harlow gets one, Demon Jones, Blake Grant, and the Sula Masul Rusu each get one. As we see the tackles for loss, Highland with two, Kennedy and Davis gets one, Tank Jones, the only sack on the day here for Tampa. Interception wise, nothing doing. Pass deflections. Looks like Javon Highland is the one with the only pass deflection. No fumbles or anything like that. As we check the kickers, two bot kickers going at it. We've seen some misses. Uh, pointer missed extra point. And you see right there, Firestarter Prodigy missed a field goal, but he did have three extra points. So he's going to lead in points in this one from the special teams. On the other side for the punting, they both average over 50, but Pointer had the had the punts there. So I'd say it was pretty even. Uh no clear winner on that. Um kick return wise, Elijah Nigma averaging 27 and a half. Lamar Davis three for 70. Joe Beasley had the recovery. That's really about it. And they both averaged 17 on one return was James Peach and Jordan Vinny doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? And looking to make sure I got everything there. Looking at the scoring summary, though, uh, Lamar Davis with the four-yard touchdown run doing his thing. Then they're going to score again. Is Tacoma with the Fowler touchdown pass. Had a big, a big catch before that one. Don't forget that. On the other side of the game, we have uh, Ulf Jacobson with the six-yard touchdown run. They, they missed the extra point and actually turned out to be something big there as Davin Brewer is going to make his touchdown for one yard, and they did make the field goal. And then... Kai Coco is going to knock through a 72-yard TD pass from James West, and they did make the extra point. Then Coco is going to come back with another touchdown in the fourth. Missed the two-point conversion, just a little shy. Ulf couldn't push himself in like he needed to. But that's really about it on this game. We're going to go ahead and set up for the next game. Don't go anywhere. It'll be up at 6 p.m., so make sure you watch out for that. Tune in. We're going to be back on YouTube soon. Ah.